everybody, Remy Rex here and welcome to my new YouTube series. In this series today we're going to be looking at trying to one-shot all of DD4. Um, I'm going to be doing each node separately um, just so that the video isn't like four hours long um, but we're going into the first node. Um, what I'm also trying to do is try and use characters that people will most likely be having uh, ready to go for the start of Dark Dimension 4 as well rather than just sticking in kind of my highest characters so likely starting characters do tend to be the oh DK 24 hour stream once we hit 1000 subscribers don't forget to hit that subscribe button Okay, I'll keep it. Thank you very much, D King, for the 100 bits. We are currently live on Twitch. That's where I do uh, most of my streaming. Um, so if you do want to come and watch this live, then do uh, check do check by, click the link in the description um, and come and have a chat with me live on Twitch. Um, so yeah, so I'm going in with uh, some global characters and then Simit, Spider-Man and Kestrel. I feel like everybody will have Kestrel maxed out as much as possible um, so we're going to be using her um, and Symbiote Spider-Man is a really good option um, and you'll need him for City as well. So this is the team we're going for so we're going to jump straight in. Um, I'm going to try and do it as quickly as I can to make sure that I kind of one shot it and stop the videos being so long and if you're wondering what on earth D King was on about I have promised my Twitch viewers, my Twitch subs, my Twitch followers that uh, once I hit a thousand subscribers uh, on YouTube, I will do a 24 hour, the long awaited 24 hour um, Wonder Woman cosplay stream that everybody wants. So if you do enjoy this content or you do want to see me stream for 24 hours as Wonder Woman, then do make sure you subscribe to the channel. It will really help me out and it will help me produce future content. Okay, so we're going to get started. As we know, uh, some of their abilities are pretty nasty. Uh, we do need to try and get rid of uh, these guys and also Human Torch. So we're gonna uh, try and use Zemo to his uh, fullest capability, but we're also going to use Kestrel as well um, and kind of um, use her passive to really help us out, which I know is probably semi-cheating, but if you don't, if you have Kestrel unlocked and you don't have her as high as you can possibly be, uh, then you're you're not doing the game to your full advantage. So do make sure you max Kestrel out if you have her because you can't go wrong. Now, do you need to keep an eye on little Ghost in the corner because she is into the red. So let's hope we can just keep her uh, safe for a little bit longer. And just kind of keep making our way uh, through everybody. We're going to get some more defense down over here. I also thought Symbiote Spider-Man would be a really good pair. Uh, there we go. We'll do this with uh, Kestrel because obviously he does put defense down um, with his basics. So I thought that would probably really help uh, Kestrel out a little bit just for trying to get her passive uh, to go as much as possible. Now I'm not going to get two Invisible Woman clones. So I'm going to try and get rid of her. Uh, we we're okay for healing um, and then we are going to just kind of clean up and wait for the second node. There we go, as you can see, nice and easy. Kestrel is making it really easy. My Kestrel is five, five yellows, five reds, so nothing too fancy. And then we move on to the second node. Again, we have the abilities there that are coming through um, so we don't really want Falcon to get his turn meter off that's kind of who we want to control but we also want to keep an eye on these two I'm gonna stun vulture and then we'll see we'll do casual special over here and um, yeah the, so the newer characters are going to make it um, yeah, they're going to make it a completely different game mode compared to what we've um, had before. So, um, right, we're just going to get some defense down. Um, oh, he resisted the stun. How rude. Um, and the same with DD3. Like, you know, when DD3 first came out and people were trying to get through DD3, it was so much harder than what DD3 is now. And I might even, I might even do a, a DD3 one-shot series as well. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how 
we go. But yeah, it's definitely, you know, Silver Surfer, Kestrel um, do make it a lot easier. Even even the Dad Bros make it a lot easier as well. So we're still trying to get rid of this Falcon. But once he's now the lowest health, we can start focusing on somebody else and Kestrel will uh, ping him. So that's good. So we'll just keep going. Um, try and get rid of rescue. There we go. I do need to look out for Ironheart because she's going to give me defense down as well. There's second wave. I'm going to heal just in case, but I think I'm okay. Okay, so she's probably all right now. So we've got. Do I, so I'm going to do that there because I'm a bit worried for Ironheart but we should be able to get her down nicely we'll do ghost ult again we should still get it back in time Let's plan some abilities nice and ready we'll do this just to get some bleeds going and then we're on to the final six so we'll do one more Kestrel special and then we're probably ready to just basic it out Everybody's okay. Healing Sinister will have his clones ready. Iron Man's are uh, proving to be annoying. So Invisible Woman, I don't need to basic because I can't take her with me. Um, so there we go. And we'll just kind of focus on these guys one by one to get them down. Nice and easy. The first six nodes of DD4 are the better of the nodes. Um, I do, uh, I do promise you, um, unlike in DD3 where probably the first six nodes are the worst six nodes, uh, these ones are pretty good, no one's got defense down, uh, there we go, it's okay, that invisible woman's not mine, um, so yeah, so it's not so bad as you can see here, we're making it through uh, nice and easily. There we go, and there you have it, everybody. So that is the one shot of the first node of DD4. Uh, be sure to uh, like if you've enjoyed it, if it's gonna help in any way. Um, and also, as you mentioned at the start, uh, do subscribe to the channel. It will be an absolute, uh, a lot to me just because of, uh, I'm really trying to work on that goal. And also for that 24 hour Wonder Woman cosplay stream that you all wanna see so badly. Um, if you do have any questions, um, I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays live on Twitch. Um, link in the description you can follow my channel get notifications and you can even put silly messages on the screen like Deking did and you'll be able to have them uh, read live uh, on twitch and you might even make it to a youtube video so thank you very much everybody for watching and we'll see you in the next one